Hello everybody, it's your immigration attorney Luis Ruiz here with you today with another video on our VAWA series. As you know, VAWA is congressional legislation that was approved uh, and enacted um, in order to protect people who are victims of domestic violence, specifically parents, children, or spouses of U.S. citizens or permanent residents. Uh, so as you know, we're doing this, vid this VAWA series where we're going to be bringing you videos every few weeks. So please subscribe to our channel, like our video, share our video. Uh, domestic violence is something that we don't really talk about in, as a society uh, enough. And there's people in our circles, our own families, our, our, our friends who are suffering from domestic violence that we may not even know about. Uh, so please share this video in case anybody that you don't know that is suffering through domestic violence um, can see it and, and reach out for help if they need it. Now today I'm going to be talking about specifically about how parents can use VAWA to obtain lawful status if they've been victims of abuse or extreme cruelty at the hands of their United States citizen children over the age of 21. Now, um, one of the requirements obviously is that you've been abused, abused so physical violence, uh, mental, uh, mental or emotional abuse are also very important. So when we're talking about a parent and children child relationship, how do children abuse their parents? Uh, physical abuse, stealing money, stealing their car, uh, threatening them with immigration, um, making fun of them, making fun of them because they're undocumented, the food that they eat, the culture that they come from. All of these things are abuse. Uh, throwing things at them, punching holes in the walls, kicking doors. All of these things are considered abuse. And for parents, it's, it's you know, one of the things that they can use to obtain the lawful status. Um, you must have resided with the child. Uh, you must, you the parent must be a person of good moral character. Um, step parents are eligible to apply as well. So uh, with the only, with the requirement that, that that step parent and step child relationship was established prior to the child turning 21, um, pardon me, prior to the child turning 18 years old. So if, um, Steve and Mary got married, and Mary had a 15-year-old son at that time. Steve and the 15-year-old have established a step-parent, step-child relationship prior to uh, the child turning 18, and therefore, if that 15-year-old becomes abusive towards Steve, Steve has a means to apply uh, for lawful status through this program. Now, it's important to note that the the abuse can happen prior to the child turning 21, but the VAWA application cannot be filed until after the child turns 21. So a lot of the times what will happen is, you know, you have children who go through terrible, terribly rebellious stages in life where, you know, they're very aggressive and abusive, physically abusive, mentally and emotionally abusive from, you know, in their teenage years. So by the time they're 21, when you are able to apply, maybe you're no longer a victim of domestic violence, but as long as you were a victim of domestic violence, the abuse can happen before the age of 21. Uh, we can go ahead and file as soon as the child turns 21. So the requirement is that the child must be 21 at the time of filing. Uh, the abuse can have happened prior to that. It can be ongoing, um, but this is the way that a parent can obtain lawful status. Um, the problem that we have when, with parents is that they often don't want to file this application because they're scared that something will happen to their children or they don't want to make their children look bad. Now, I want to remind everybody that VAWA is a completely confidential program. There's no requirement that you report your children to the police. There's no requirement that there is a police report. There's no requirement that they're arrested. Uh, and it's a completely confidential program, so the government does it, it's not going to let your child know that you applied uh, for this benefit. They're not going to reach out to them. There's Your child will not find out that you've applied uh, through this program because it, the law is clear that it is a completely confidential program. You can use this program to obtain lawful status in, in the United States uh, so that you are able to live free and hopefully break free of the abuse that your, children are, your ch child or children is causing you. Uh, please, please, please subscribe, like the video, but more importantly, share this video to your social media. If you know anybody that's suffering from domestic violence who's undocumented and is looking to legalize their status, share this video with them. 
Domestic violence is something we don't talk about enough. So there might be people that you don't even know that are suffering from domestic violence who could use this information. Please share this to your social medias and let's get as many people as we can the help that they need so that they can break free of the chains of domestic violence um, and so that we can get them lawful status in this country. Thank you.